guys. Happy Monday. Um, we're going to do daily geography together. I'm going to go over a couple expectations for your climate project. I'm going to go over the rubric again with you guys really quick um, and show you how to get to your project tomorrow. My A through J people, you are presenting. Don't forget, okay? My K through Z, you will start on Thursday. So be ready, please, please, please. All right, let me make myself small. All right. My first question on Monday. This should be a review. We've gone over this a million times, but I'm going to go with it or go over it with you guys. What are the lines called that run around the earth in the east to west direction? Please do not forget. You guys are driving me crazy. You guys are not restating your question and writing it in complete sentences. So before I even look at this and even know the answer, I can write the lines that run around the earth in the east to west direction are called. Hmm. Okay, the ones that run this way. Is it latitude or longitude? Remember that way that I taught you guys latitude, fatitude. That goes around the thick part of the earth, okay? So we know that that is latitude. I'm going to even say are called lines of latitude. <laughs> Sounds much better. If these ones are latitude, then that makes this bottom one. What are the lines called that run from north to south? Okay, so again, I'm going to say the lines that run north to south are called lines of longitude. Again, that should be a review. You guys know that one, okay? Just make sure you write those in complete sentences. If you don't know what to write, look, I just gave you those answers, okay? All right, let's go ahead and move on to the climate project rubric. All right, this is the exact rubric that I will be using to grade your projects. Those kids of mine that have um, that are officially virtual now, we will figure out a way for you to present, whether it's during my office hours, we'll figure out something, okay? So, climate project rubric. You always want to aim for the all threes. That means that you have the definition for each climate, the characteristics listed, the examples of places, the picture, and the wildlife examples. A couple of you guys have said, well, Mrs. Nugent, if I have my background of my slide be a picture of that climate, does that count? Yes. Do not give me a picture of a dog and think that that will count as the picture. It must be a picture that shows that climate, okay? All right, one more thing that I wanna show you guys. Oh, no, wait, that's all of my climate. So as long as you have all of those pieces for every single climate, that puts you in a really good position. You also, your project execution, it must be neat. No capitalization errors. So that means your proper nouns are capitalized. The beginning of sentences are capitalized. No spelling, correct punctu or spelling errors and correct punctuation. Um, guys, I'll be pretty lenient on this. As long as it looks really great, then you guys will probably get the three there. But if you are making a lot of mistakes, it's going to be a two or a one or a zero. Okay. And then your presentation. Okay. Make sure you present all the information. We will talk about that and that you spoke clearly. Practice, practice, practice your presentation. That is my only um, pointer for you. Um, even if you're practicing in front of your dog or your fish or your cat, at least you're saying it once before you get to my class. Okay. So many of you have emailed me this weekend and said, Mrs. Nugent, I don't know how to get to my to my slideshow. One, watch the videos on Buzz because I showed you. But if the if it is not in your Gmail anymore, what you can also do is click the application window and go to slides. And it might not show up. You guys can see some of them are right here. Okay. But um, on your slides, then you would just type in climate project and it will come up, okay? I obviously have access to all of yours, so it's a little um, different, but if you just type in climate project, that will pop up for you, okay? Um, guys, take your time on this, but also make sure it's done. It should be done by Tuesday, unless you're one of my um, K through Z people, then Thursday at the latest, all right? But make sure, my Monday and Tuesday kiddos, that it is done tomorrow on Tuesday, okay? Be ready to present. I'm really proud of you guys. Um, so many of you have worked over the weekend on this and are just kicking butt, so keep it up, all right? Um, if you have any questions, please let me know.